So now that we have the Mini safely home, I'm going to do some basic maintenance. So we're going to replace the air filter, top off the power steering fluid. I'm going to try out these Rain-X glass repellent wipes to see how well they work on the front and rear windshield. And we'll be doing an oil change. We'll obviously be doing more extensive maintenance in the future, like we'll be checking over the coolant system and the braking system and different suspension components. But right now we're going to do the basics just to make sure the car can reliably run back and forth to work. First things first, I'm going to do all the easy stuff on top of the motor and then we'll tackle the oil change last. If you've ever had any sort of German vehicle, this is going to be really similar. It's almost exactly the same as the E39. You've got the reusable oil filter housing and you're just replacing the oil filter that's within it. It's behind the engine. It's a large nut just like the BMW, so you're going to have to use an adjustable wrench or an enormous socket. Everything else can be easily accessed from the top of the car, through the air box, the power steering reservoir, and of course there's only four spark plugs on this car. So, and even just in basic maintenance on this car, you can see how the savings are going to add up over the E39. I've only got four spark plugs, I've got a much lower oil capacity, and then even things like the air and oil filter are just a little bit cheaper. And all that's going to add up over the life of the car. just how dirty this old one is I mean I don't know how long it's been on here but it is just full of dirt and other crap that's gonna help it breathe better we'll get a little bit better gas mileage a little bit more power back making sure it's the same size and we'll slip it in Looking here at the back of the engine, just left of the exhaust manifold, you can see the oil filter housing. It's a 36 millimeter nut, so unless you have that specific socket for this purpose, you likely don't have a socket that large. I use an adjustable wrench and break it loose that way. It's really not that difficult. It's nowhere near as easy to get to as the E39 was, but it's still pretty doable. Make sure you back it off until the O-ring unseats, but then don't twist it off all the way. Let the oil drain out before you take the cap off. It's going to be really difficult to clean it up if you make a big mess back there, especially next to the header. I've got all the oil draining. I'm going to give it about five minutes, make sure everything is fully out. I'm going to seal everything back up, pour five quarts in it, and we'll be done. One thing to note about these mini filters is both this end and the other end both go onto post. So this end goes into the reusable housing that comes out and you're gonna press it over to a post and this is gonna fold in and give a nice tight seal. And then this is going to go on a smaller post that is sticking out of the engine. So you are going to have to apply slight pressure when pushing this into the reusable housing and pushing this onto the engine. So don't be alarmed if it doesn't instantly fit. It requires a little bit of pressure and it's a interference fit, so you're gonna have to press that on pretty hard, but it should be pretty self-explanatory now that you know. And with that, our first steps of maintenance are done. So we have new oil, new spark plugs, a new air filter, and a topped off power steering system. Eventually we'll have to get into the cooling and the brakes. The brake fluid looks horrible, so I cannot wait to flush that all out. The only thing left to do is go ahead and start the car, make sure that everything runs properly. I don't want to find out in the morning when I'm trying to go to work that one of the spark plugs is in wrong or that there's a horrible oil leak. So we'll start that, let it run for just a second, get some oil into the filter so we can check the oil level properly, and then we'll be good to go. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week.